Have you found that when you're working with solar-powered projects that you have an issue on trying to figure out how to mount the solar panels? We get into the problems here because each one of our solar panels are approximately 2 foot by 4 foot and weigh 22 pounds each. If so, let's get to the intro and start this video. Hi, this is Bill the Techno Gypsy. In this video, I'm going to show you the mounting system that we came up with to support the two solar panels that we use in our projects. Each one of these panels weighs 22 pounds, so we have a total panel weight of 44 pounds. We were also concerned about the wind load because you don't want these things blown over when you deploy them in the field. So we came up with a very nice design that is very structurally sound, but is cheap, efficient, easy to make, and easy to put together. The optimum voltage output of each of these solar panels is 20.2 volts. The optimum current produced by the solar panel is 7.92 amps. So effectively, we put these two in parallel. We're staying at 20.2 volts, but we're effectively delivering approximately 15 amps that we can use to charge our 100 amp battery system and also to power any of the electronics that we have connected to the system. So now that I've explained the basic problem that we have with the solar panels and how we came up with a solution, let's get into the specifics of actually looking at this mounting system and how we came up with it. This is a simple A-frame design. With this adjustable rod here, we can actually set the spread between the two legs. We can also move it up and down. We have multiple holes on this side, plus these holes. We have the solar panels bolted onto the front here, so they are very secure and are not gonna move around. And it gives a lot of good stability to the mounting system that we used for our solar panels. So now that I've shown you the basic design, because it is very simple, there's a single crossbar back here in the back that is set to the same width as the solar panels in the front. Let's go take a look at the actual components that were used and how simple they are. There are four basic components that we use for building the A-frames. First component is the leg that holds the solar panels. We have a crossbar that we use that is the width of the solar panel that stabilizes the back of the A-frame. We have two pieces of machined aluminum that we use as the adjustable spacing for both of the legs. And we have the fourth piece that is used for the back leg of the solar panels. Now you will find that you have specifically a left set and a right set. So each one of the legs, you have to make sure you select the right one and you build them so that you have left and right pairs. So let's get into seeing what this thing looks like and how we put it together. To show you how the basic assembly goes together, we take, we take one of the solar panel pieces We have the mounting holes up on this side. Very simply, take this piece, put them together, bolt them together, put the crossbar here for the adjustment bar, goes down here between these sets of screws, and then we have the back crossbar for the support. Very simple, very effective, very easy to manufacture. As you can see, this is a very simple A-frame system for supporting and mounting up to two solar panels. So you have a total of 360 watts of solar power that you can actually have out in the field. When you look at the weight of the two solar panels at 44 pounds, combined with the weight of the frame, you're not really gonna have to worry about wind loading problems unless you're in hurricane conditions. And if it's in that case, I would take it down and 
put it in the garage or somewhere until it passes. So anyway, outside of that, you shouldn't have a problem with this so long as you orient the panels properly. You'll get very good output power. We're seeing effectively a 50% power output from the two panels. So effectively, we're getting our 20 volts that we need into our MPPT charge controller. And we're pulling in approximately 7 to 9 amps consistently, which works out very well to keep our 100 amp hour batteries charged. Now, if you'd like to see a sneak peek as to what we're using this for, let's go over to that. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel. This is Bill the Techno Gypsy saying 7-3 and God bless.